but um, that could maybe do that kind of damage to three people. You know, you get a couple of good swings in there, you can incapacitate someone pretty quickly. Well, what about the bumper jack that was used to assault Louise? Well, do yeah. Do you think that could have been the weapon that could have caused that blunt force trauma? Well, yeah, certainly. Yeah, the kind of damage, that kind of damage. Yeah, sure. Plus, it's really strange that there was like another jack belonging to what they thought was a 1961 Pontiac in this car. Yeah, for, I mean, for all you know, it could have been um, the dude that owns the car. It could have been like a friend's jack or he borrowed a jack from his brother. You never know. Well, then those kids who had left church reported seeing a blue Pontiac, like a 1963 or so Pontiac parked on that road. Right. And it looked like the hubcaps were some hubcaps gone, the wheels all well, muddy. off the Ford Fairlane they were. Yeah, it could have blew some tires, could have been some, who knows. Or it could have been the prove the presence of another vehicle. So, yeah, it's just crazy. What do you do with all that? And then now it's a lot to process. Yeah, let alone with all the rumors and stuff. Well, thanks for catching this episode of Mountain Murders. If you feel so inclined, you can hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. That helps us out a lot. Yes, it does. It keeps us um, um, on the charts and stuff so people can keep discovering us. And you can help with that. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Get get a gun and hold it on somebody and be like, you need to download Mountain Murders. Dylan, don't. No. Wait, no, don't do that. Because then, what the gun goes off, and then we're doing a story about you. Okay, it's late, and obviously I need to tuck Dylan in because he's delirious. But thank you guys for tuning in. You can find us pretty much wherever you get your podcasts. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now we're on TikTok. And you can leave us a voicemail, y'all. Yeah, again, what was that number, Dylan? It was 828 571 Call us. We want to hear from you. Thanks, guys.